Hello everyone and welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. We're going to continue uh, with frames and uh, the different properties of frames today. But we're going to move past positioning and, si and size and color. We're actually going to be working with this Z index uh, variable. Or variable, sorry, property. Now, the Z index property, if you've ever used CSS or done web design or something like that, you probably know that Z index means what layer. So, let's picture it this way. There's the X and Y scale, right? The X and Y, that's, let me show you better than this. The X is horizontal, the Y is vertical, right? Well, take the real world. You've got your horizontal, that's the horizon. You've got your vertical, that's like how tall a building is. But you've also got depth. You've also got how far away something is in relation to just depth. Like, there, right now, I'm looking at my laptop screen, right? Well, my face and my laptop are both at the same... Ooh, vertical um, spot basically and they're both at the same basic horizontal positioning right X and Y are about the same but there's a third variable that makes my laptop and me not in the same place and that's why we have a three-dimensional world um, and this and in programming this is commonly called the Z dimension. There's the X dimension, the Y dimension, and the Z dimension. So Z is depth. So the Z index, which can go from 0 to 10, uh, I don't think decimal places really count in Roblox's engine. With GUIs, we have 0. 0 is the uh, like furthest away. It, it, I don't understand exactly why they chose to do it this way because it makes it harder to explain. But 0 would be the furthest away and 10 would be right up in your face, right? So like right now, this red you're seeing here, that you can imagine is a 0 right now because there's no frames on top of it. That's a 0. And the mouse, this icon I'm moving around here, the mouse, that can be like thought of as a 1. Or I mean... A 10, sorry. There's 0, the red, 10, the mouse. Because you see the mouse right up in your face. So, that's about the best way I can explain it right now without actually showing you, which is what I'm going to do next. So, first off, we're going to go over here. And we're going to insert... Oh, wait, let me show you. I selected GUI. Now we're going to insert object frame just keep frame highlighted and we're gonna name this frame 2 just so you guys can get easier and we're going to change this and we're gonna go to frame real quick and we're gonna change the Z index on this to 0 okay you see nothing changes over here yet but in this frame we're gonna change its color actually we don't have to we're just gonna get rid of this border and we're going to give it some kind of crazy position. So I'm just going to go with, I don't know, 52 and 88. Oh, 77 works just as well. And here we're just going to go with 0 0.2, 20%, and 0 0.2, 20%. Well, would you look at that? This is now on top of, you see, above our other frame. So we're going to copy this again. We're, we're just going to copy and paste it. We're going to name this frame 3. And we're actually going to make this a bit smaller. We're going we're gonna to change this to 26. And the closest to a half of 77 would be 33 or 34. I'm going with 33. Oh, wait. That's the position. Eh, position. Who cares? So... Let me change the color of this, however, so that we can discern them. 
So I'll make frame three blue. All right. So right now, you see that we have red, gray, blue in that order. But red has a zero for its z-index. Gray has a one, but blue has a one too. Now, why does the blue have a one as its z-index, but it's above the gray? Well, because Roblox, <coughs> sorry, my voice is weird today. Because Roblox um, renders in order, alphabetical order. It'll go from frame to frame two to frame three and continue going down in order, alphabetical, chronological order. Now, if you have two things with the same name, it goes to some other property and then some other until there's finally a difference. It could just be which one you put into the game first or something. It, or it could just be random. But frame three will always go after frame two. But frame three will not go after frame 29 because alphabetical doesn't care about how large a number is. It just cares about how far into the alphabet. Yeah, no need to go there. But what if we wanted to make sure that this frame, this blue frame, was actually below the gray one? Well, we'd just change its Z index to zero. And now would you look at that? The blue is below the gray. But if we wanted to double check and make sure that the frame is above the gray frame, we'll change it to two. And now that they're not equal, blue is always going to be on top of gray because it has a greater Z index. So that's Z index. I hope that made sense. Uh, if it didn't, post in the comments below. I will try to explain it as best to you as I can. Uh, maybe I'll have to have another tutorial on it. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.